Hello and welcome to another video. I know it's supposed to be free to play Friday, but um, I spent a while like trying to set it up and then OBS didn't want to work with the game. And um, I got these because it was my birthday on the 14th. So I treated myself and got myself some cards. And um, Max today went out and got the um, Kyrim set. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit, we're going to have a bit of a versus here. We're, um, because um, Max's Kyrim cards come with four, uh, five packs and mine only comes with four, he's going to pick four of his five to open and I'm going to open all four of mine and whoever pulls the best card wins. Okay, so um, we can open the boxes now. You can say hi if you want, Max. Hello. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So, um, first off, we are not counting the guaranteed cards. For me, that is a Lucario GX with the Giant GX card. For Max, it is um, Reshiram and Zekrom. And a giant one of the three legendaries in one card. Yeah. Which is bizarre. Yeah. But well, still cool. Yeah. But well, still yeah. cool. Yeah. So. Um, uh, code card. Uh, I'll be giving my way, my code cards away. If you just ask for it in the comment section, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible with a code for you, if you want it. Um, so, uh, have you got a pack on you, Max? Uh, yep. So, first pack so are being opened. If I can. If this is my first time doing this net I'm opening, so this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be... There we go. But who's going first, like, saying what they've got? Uh, you can go first, being as you're the guest. Right, i got... A Jangmoo, Magikarp, mm -hmm. Corsola, Swablu, Ebass, Reverse Litten, uh, Hollow, Blaine's Last Stand. Yeah. Metal Energy, Dragon Talon, Turtonator, and Shellgun. Okay, and I got Remoraid, Mankey, Jangmao, Carablast, Salandit, a Reverse Hollow Stuffle, Ready Rock. So, yeah, got a Ready Rock. That's cool. Energy, uh, Kakuna, Excel. Excel Gore and Diggers B. So yeah, but I think Reggie Rock's the best out of that one because it's a legendary. Yeah, was that the reverse? Uh, no, the reverse was Stuffle, which is bleeding adorable. Okay, I'll go first this time. We'll take it in turns. Yeah. Uh, Wisma. Mincina, Mincino, Cottony, Solosis, Vullaby, Reverse Hollow Guffer Eater, Grumpig, Whimsicott, uh, Trainer Card, and Weezing. A lot of psychic types in that, like I got um, one, two, three, uh, four psychic types, uh, two normal, and um, two theory, three theory. I got Totodile, Baragon, Horsey, Trapini, Vibrava, mm -hmm. Reverse Wheeler Volcano Park, yeah. Hollow Out Horror, Fairy Energy, Salazzle, Zygarde, and Drampa. Okay. So on to the next pack. Zygarde is an uncommon in this set, apparently. Oh, that's cool. Who's who's better, Ready Rock or Zygarde? I mean, not in design, in battle. Isn't Zygarde PU? Depends. No, it depends on which kind of Zygarde you're using. Fifty percent. I don't think it's PU. I'm 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 I'm. Where's I'm definitely sure it was PU in X and Y, and I think without the um, construct ability, it is PU. Or at least very low tier. And I think Reggie Rock's probably in PU as well. Yeah, well 
all the Reggies are in Greenwood. Yeah. Along with all three um, legendary birds. Yeah. Field card. Um, you can go first this time. Yeah. I got the Brava, Tini, Salandit, Rupa, Jangwo, Reverse Curum, Hollow mm. Komowo, uh, Psychic Energy, Zygarde, Seedra, and Darmanitan. Okay. I got Salandit and my one of my three favourite starters, Turtwig, Violu, Krogunk, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Cherubi, and it's one of those wool ones. So yeah, I, I like the wool ones, they're kind of cool. Well, I win. Yeah. GG. Hollow Cresselia. What's that you opening anyway? Um, I think that one was Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. Oh yeah, I forgot Chris Lee was a hollow in there. I thought it was a regular rare. Yeah. Oh, and I got an Eevee. I think I, I don't know if I scared. Anyway, Fairy Energy, Prinplop, Orangaroo, and the Dirt Terrain Whistle. But yeah, Chris Lee is the best thing either of us has, have pulled so far. I've just, I just had Primplup, and that's one of the, my least favourite middle stages ever. I got Primplup as well. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll start um, with this next pack, if I can get it open. Okay. Um, one of the more interesting Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Um, Mawarul. Esper, and then there's Esper, Duskull, I used to love using every like Dusk Club, but then it got nerfed, Oddish, Mudbray, okay, okay, what, Reverse Hollow Darkrai, oh, so I got Cresselia and Darkrai, Lightning Rock Midday, Energy, Steel, Electabuzz, Simipore, and Rotom Dex. Cool. I got in mine Dratini, mm -hmm. Kangaskhan, that's the new one I've not seen yet, Swablu, Torchic, Wooper, mm. Reverse Gyarados, yeah. Magnite GX, yeah. Lightning Energy, Lapras, Drudigon and Charmeleon. Yeah, okay, so what do you think is the best card you've gotten? Uh, Dragonite GX. I think Hollow Cresselia is my is the best one I've gotten. I've pulled today. That's a cool artwork, though. Yeah, it's got cool artwork, but it's not Cresselia. It's a GX. It automatically one ups Hollows. It was a hollow legendary, and somehow I also managed to pull this reverse hollow, um, not counterpart, it's reverse hollow, like, it's opposite oh. in reverse hollow. So we've got hollow oh. Cresselia and reverse hollow Darkrai. It's just like the most perfect thing, because like, um, Darkrai is like the opposite to Cresselia, and it's a reverse hollow, which is the opposite to a hollow. That is that is the most perfect like uh, combination of pulling I've ever seen. Yeah. Like that that beats your GX Dragon Dragonite easy. That's two cards compared to one. No. Which is a bit unfair. Okay, a little bit, but it's not like it ca it's unreasonable to put these two cards up against. It's not like I'm just I'm putting like um Stuffle and the Cresselli up against. It's like these car, these two Pokemon have a history, and it, uh, it's just like perfect theming. Mm. You watch, I'll have something amazing in this one now. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this one doesn't count, but yeah, open your last one.
You'll probably get like a full art or something. Crocodile, Dratini, Akomoro, Dratini again, Kangas Khan, Reverse Paragon, Polo Zekrom. That's not too bad. Polo Zekrom. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, fighting the Charmeleon, Dragonair, and a different Lapras. Oh. And it's actually, when I was trying to be ferocious, it's just cute. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, hold on, hold it there for a second. Um, can't really see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be mean, but it's too. Yeah. I've got a bit of a polo geo, though. I've got mm. a, a hollow or better in every single pack. Yeah. And I got a Reggie Rock. How how common is Reggie Rock in these? Um, what set was it? Uh, I think it was the first one or second one. Um, Fates Collide maybe. Or Crimson Invasion. Gen... <laughs> Wait, if it's Reggie Rock and it's Gen Six, is it Ancient Origin? Uh, I got Fates Collide. Um, Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and Ultra Prism. That's a... Why have they, why have they got so very old cards? Because uh, I got this, these from a, uh, my dad's friend's second-hand shop, so yeah, it's a little bit old. And it's not that old, because Ultra Prism's there, and that's only three yeah. sets ago. Yeah. But why it's got Fates Collide in it, I don't know. Yeah. That's just weird. Then again, a lot of Gen 6 tins and stuff went back to hmm. Legendary Treasures. Which well, here's what I think. I think they uh, made too many packs. So they just dumped them in there to try and get rid of some of them. I'm surprised they didn't do that with Theme Siege, to be honest. Yeah. Theme Siege is... Theme Siege is a set that a lot of people hmm. didn't like. Yeah. I don't know why. I thought it was quite good. I thought it was hmm. quite good. So you got the greatest single pull, but I got the greatest like double pull or whatever. I got, with Cresselia and Dark Rive of the Theming and everything, and you got this single greatest single card pull. Technically, I also kind of even on that level. I got a Hollow Zekrom and Reverse um, Curum. Yeah, but it's not Hollow uh, Cresselia and Reverse Dark Rive because. Kyra, Kyrem, Kyrem, whatever you want to call him. I, I've, I've even heard Qrem, uh, not Qrem, Kyurem. I've heard Kyurem before. Anyway, um, and the, the Zekrom aren't uh, the opposite of each other. Now, if it was um, like Hollow Reshiram and Reverse Hollow Zekrom, then it would be almost as good, but not as quite as good. Zekrom and Reshiram are easily better than Dark 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 Crying Pole. Darkrai and Cresselia. No, at least Darkrai and Cresselia don't have generator butts. No, but they're cooler typings. Dark, Dragon Electric, Psychic, uh, Dragon Fire. There's not many Dragon Electric types. True, but the only reason why it's Dragon Electric, period, is because... I don't know. Generator. It's got a generator on this, but so electricity? I don't know. Why is it even no. electric type? What in its design would suggest electric type? Be beyond a generator, but. Counter argument. Well, all Cresselia's eye, Cresselia's design makes it psychic type. Well, so it's, it it's dreams. Ever since Gen 1, dreams has have been associated with associated with a um, psychic type and dark right at is nightmares which you know evil dark type but i do think Cresselia should have been given the fairy type fairy wasn't around in generation four that's generation six's problem nor was god of War, but they still gave it psychic fairy yeah well i'm 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 thinking that is more just like Lunala is dreams. It's a pleasant dreams. It gives people dreams. So psychic type, like um, Hypno and Drowsy are also psychic type. Yeah, 
because, because and it's all like dream based. But again, why is Zek from electric type? There's there's nothing about it that suggests it's an electric type. Beyond generator butt. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's based on some thunder god somewhere. I think Yeah, that would like... be thunderous. Yes, I know Thunderous is based on Legion, but but there's still an there should, I'm well, sure. Also, Thunderous's on... tail is just anal beads. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's just well, anal beads. Well, I guess the only one that doesn't look like that is Landorus. Yeah. Or a hammer. Yeah. Now, who looked at those Pokemon without the tails and was like, we need to slap anal beads on these. <laughs> actually, I don't think they're actually tails. I think they're just ale beads and they just have ale beads halfway up their butts. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Um, the, 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 there wasn't actually anything, like, um, mind-blowingly good pull today, like, that is a little bit disappointing, it's like, oh, you wanna, like, I was hoping, like, one of us would pull at least something extremely good, like a full art or something, but nope, mm. oh well, see you guys in the next video, bye-bye, aren't you gonna say bye? I just did. Oh, anyway, bye.